How's it go, guys? I'm Dr. Zed. I here enjoy the ride. The weather is uh, nice outside right now. It's not as windy as it was the last few days. So I figured, well, why not go up to Mount Lemmon and uh, finish a video series that I've been wanting to finish for quite a while now. Uh, if you, any of your call, I did a top five things that I dislike most about my DRZ 400, or about the DRZ 400 in general. And I thought I'd continue that, finish it off with top five things I love about my DRZ 400. And that being Susie herself and not just the DRZ 400 in general. So this includes like all the mods I've done and uh, like different niceties like that. Let's start off with number one. Uh, she's the only girl I know that will go down with me. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, number one, she is like, she's my first bike. Why is that one thing that I love about my DRZ 400S turn supermoto? Well, oh great, <laughs> this sucks. That was the best turn there, too. Okay, back to what I was saying before we ran into this roadblock. First bike, so I know you learn a lot on your first bike. And you fall a lot on your first bike. And working on Susie has taught me more about motorcycles than I ever thought I would know. When I was a kid, motorcycles were like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get one of those down the road. Cause it was, it was just sport bikes. That was all I knew of. Sport bikes and the Suzuki, uh, what was it? It was an 800, it was nice. It was a V. That's all I knew of for motorcycles. I thought they're cool, but then I took the rider safety course. I was like, whoa, what's this TW200 thing that I'm on? This is awesome. Although that was a bit small for me. So I looked around. I was, I was kind of dead set on getting a a TW200 for the longest time. I don't know why, because that thing would not fit my height. I would, I could bend my knees and flat foot it. Oh, this is not the enjoyable, long, twisty ride that I thought it was going to be. Oh well. So that, then, uh, someone else looked at a DRZ and ended up getting it. So I was like, oh, this bike is cool. It's a street legal dirt bike, dual sport. And I'd always had an interest in dirt biking since I was a kid. But I, I thought dirt bikes were just, were just that, like, dirt only. So I looked around on Craigslist, found Susie, yada, 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 yada. Uh, what was the first thing that I did on Susie? It, everything had been done by a dealership before I bought her. So I didn't get to do any of the oil changes or the filter or the anything like that, which I did get to do on Cobalt, the YZ450F, just because that was a used bike. Which this one, it was practically right off the factory floor. 300 miles on it. But yeah, that reason number one, it was really long, but reason number one, 
why I love the DRZ 400S is because it taught me a lot about motorcycles being my first bike and still plenty more to learn it's ridiculous now maybe if you're going 25 through the turn you should probably pull over I mean we're past the five car limit where you should pull over so well, I don't know if that's a limit, but it's a nice thing to do. Well, I guess the slow speed stuff will lead me into my next point. Or the next thing I love about Susie. Is she's good at pretty much any speed. With in her boundaries like if you start going over 90 you're gonna get up into the ugh, B hit my helmet into the uncomfortable section of the RPM range where the whole bike is vibrating it's not um, horrible to ride like that for the bike but it's very uncomfortable for the rider the dumbest passing zone ever so she'll go she is great for the city where there's a bunch of stoplights but she's also capable on the Tucson streets that are normally like 40 to 45 miles per hour. Pretty much everywhere, so you're not going to be maxing out the engine. The gearing is just right. And it's a lot of fun to bang through all the gears. You get that low end torque and then you get the high end, um, what would you call it, wide ratio? gears the fifth gear has a lot of a uh, lot of range on it I don't know if that's the correct term but anyways yeah it's reason number two why I love Susie is she could go she's good slow she's good fast it, it's more fun to ride a slow bike fast than a fast bike slow especially when you have so many gears to choose from me in first gear just put her along at 10 miles an hour What's that flying up there? There's a hawk just chilling. <laughs> That's funny. It looks like a kite almost. But yeah, reason number two. She's good at any speed that uh, most situations demand. I was up here not even a week ago and there was snow. Not blanketing everything, but it was Maybe like one, two inches in some places. It was still snow, it wasn't just ice. And now I think, when well, I checked the weather, it was like 60 at the peak. I don't want to make this a video of complaining, but I feel like I'm riding through town. I probably could have gone through town and gone faster than this. Crazy lean! Oh my gosh! I felt like I was gonna high side it. No. Hey, hopefully you have fun on the way down. Hey, nice. I guess the third thing that I love about my DRZ 400 is it's a conversation starter. Uh, maybe some people will disagree with me on this. Those are always like, oh, it's a dirt bike. I didn't know those are street legal, and that'll be. I don't have to explain to them, no, it's a dual sport, but it's not a dual sport anymore, it's a supermoto. They kind of get drug into a conversation. Um, I showed a picture of Susie to them. They're like, oh, that looks like, uh, that looks like my friend's dirt bike. It's like, well, yeah, but this is a, this is a dual sport. Like, oh, okay, so that's like a, what does that mean? Well, it's a it's a street legal dirt bike. It's like, but this isn't a this is technically not a dual sport anymore. It's a supermoto or a supermotard. 
Okay, what's that? Well, it's a dual sport or dirt bike with smaller wheels and road tires. And that that's another thing is that I'm I'm not crazy knowledgeable about motorcycles, but I know enough about them to where some of my friends who have interests or have questions about motorcycles will ask me questions about motorcycles. I'll I'll be able to give them answers or if I don't know the answer to it, I could go track down that answer and then explain it to them in terms that they'll understand. So yeah, reason number three. Conversation starter and uh, I don't know, I don't care what you say about your Prius. It's still a Prius. Wow. I feel like driving Miss Daisy. We do 19 miles an hour. And it's sad, really. We haven't even made it up to Windy Vista. Oh, great. Oh. Everything okay up here? That sounded sweet. I know a friend that's gonna like that clip. Quarter mile to Windy Vista Boy. We're almost halfway to where I want to go. Yes! Sorry, that was a bit, uh... Oh, dang, that's bumpy. Woo, dude. Well, I don't think I'm gonna want, I'm gonna have the energy to continue this video coming back down and we're already more than halfway through. So I'll just go on with number four. Reason number four why I love Susie is her size. She's, she's a larger bike. It's not like a little WR250. Um, it has a bit more girth to it. it. Makes it more of a street bike. Not as good as on the trails or uh, as a WR per se or a KTM and not as good on a supermoto track as a KTM supermoto but she's a great street bike I think Suzuki did a really good job with the street oriented styling of it especially for the supermoto It's also nice to have a bike that's bigger, like, profile-wise, than some of these sport bikes. You go places and park next to a sport bike and the seven-foot wheelbase on this baby. Pretty intimidating to that little sport bike wheelbase, short. It's also tall, so you can get over stuff. Um, has really good ground clearance. Even in super mode setup, it has a good suspension travel, which is great for Tucson potholes. And also the size of Suzy, or just the DRZ 400 in general, barring the Enduro only, um, makes two up more possible than it is on like a WR250. 
I don't know about the WR450 if they had a... I don't think they had pegs on that. I've taken a friend two up on this before. Um, and I handled it. It was my first time with someone two up, but... <laughs> it was a bit of a learning experience for both of us because they had never been on the motorcycle in their entire life. Oh, great. I'm gonna run into all this when I come back down, aren't I? Oh. Yeah, the size makes it perfect for street. It's perfect for solo riding. You can do two up pretty comfortably. The seat has a few things to be desired, like I said in the other video. That's reason number four why I love the Susie. Before we move on to reason number five, um, or something I've been thinking about that kind of involves Susie and also other bikes, like, I really want to get to know other supermoto riders in this area. Because, uh, DRZ 400 just doesn't fit in with the sport bike crowd. I'm not a hardcore dirt biker, so I don't have, I have, I know people dirt bike, but I don't know anyone with a supermoto. I know someone with the DRZ 400, but that's a dirt setup. So if anyone knows of a, if anyone has a supermoto in the Tucson area, Want to get out and ride. I'd love to go out and ride with another supermoto rider, or just a supermoto squad for that matter. Because I know there's more than just me out here. I've seen, as I said in previous videos, I've seen a CRF supermoto, I think it was a 250. Uh, I've seen a Husqvarna a 701, I've seen a 501 SME. So I know they're out there, it's just a matter of rounding them all up. Well, I don't know how far up I'm going to be able to get, since it says four-wheel drive or change required beyond that point. Uh, maybe they just... I don't see a any hint of snow or anything. There's snow up at this point last weekend. But I might as well do reason number five. I don't know how long is left on my GoPro battery since this ride took a little bit longer than I was expecting. Reason number five I left Susie is because there's so much aftermarket stuff. You get exhaust pipes, skid plates, sliders, super moto wheels, dirt wheels, all sorts of different things. Gas tanks that fit. It's like a BMW, but it's not. There's just such a cult following of the DRZ 400. And they're also backwards compatible, so you could get the uh, Kahin pumper carb off of an older model and put it into a newer car or a newer bike, get rid of that Mikuni. So that's five reasons why I love Suzy, the steer, and uh, near Z400 in general. Um, some of those things are, I don't think, I think a lot of those things were just the DRZ400 general, but some of them are also things that, because of things that I've done to Suzy. So if you guys like what you see, want to see more, Sure, hit that like button. Leave a comment. If you're a super motor rider in the area of Tucson, I'd like to know. You go ride, I don't know, Slow Mount Lemon, Old Spanish Trail, go ride around the city, hoon around, I don't care. Uh, 
And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Dr. Zed out.